Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be filming my August TBR in a way. I'm going to do it a little differently than I normally do. I don't know if I like my hairstyle. I'm trying something new. Um, anyway, so I have a number generator from 1 to 30 and it's going to generate a number and then I wrote down on this side, which is the white side, books that are on my TBR. So, yeah, anyway, we're going to pick out 10 books and then I may do more depending on how it goes. So, number 18 is Clockwork Angel. And honestly, I'm actually very excited that I got this because I did want to start reading this series because I just, so I don't know if y'all have watched, if y'all are new here, then you don't know that I've been obsessed with the Throne of Glass series. Sorry, there's other stuff in here, but I've been obsessed with the Throne of Glass series. And I'm on the last book in that series, but I don't want to finish it. So it's going to be nice to be able to get to another fantasy book. And I've heard amazing things about Cassandra Clare. So I'm hoping I like it. I haven't ever seen the show, that Shadow Hunter. But I also need to see if this is the first book in, like, if this is where you need to start reading it. And I think it is. But if it's not this book that you start reading it, then I'll read The City of Bones. Hey, stop. Because I know it's only this, it's either this one or The City of Bones. And I have The City of Bones, so. Whichever one. <laughs> whichever one is first is the one I'm going to get. So, there's that one. The next one is five, and that is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Now, I have had this on my DVR for a while, and if y'all watched my other videos, you've known that this has been on my DVR for a while, but maybe I'll actually finally read it this month. Actually, finally. Thirteen. Thirteen is Run, Rose, Run by Dolly Parton and James Patterson. I've never read any book by James Patterson. And for the longest time, I didn't want to read a book by James Patterson because I heard that he read, he wrote like horror books and I'm not fond of horror books. But I've just recently read some of Stephen King. So I feel like if I can read Stephen King, I can read her, me, him. And it has Dolly Parton in it. And I think it's a thriller as well. And I really love thriller books, so. And it says also available, album of 12 original Dolly Parton songs made for this novel. Hmm. That is interesting. I didn't know that. But I really don't listen to Dolly Parton, so that's probably why I didn't know that. And it came with, like, this thing in it that I've never opened until just now. And it's just Dolly Parton with, I guess, a song lyrics. I don't know. So, yeah, that's cool, I guess. Anyway, 17 is A Silent Patient. Oh, interesting. I guess I'm getting me some thrillers in this month. The Silent Patient by Alex. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to say that last name, but we're going to do that one. 14. Um, I'm going to tell you guys this because... I'm not fond of reading the backs of the books because I personally don't want to know what they're about when I go to read them. I just want to go in blind. So that is why I don't read the back of the books and I don't tell you guys what it's about. Now, if I've seen it on TikTok and I kind of get like a, or YouTube, and I, they kind of give a summary of what's it about, then I might tell you guys that if I know from like re watching that. But if I don't know, then I'm not going to give you a synopsis on it but this one is then she was gone i did try to read this once before and i think i only got to like page 20 or something i'm not really sure and i didn't wasn't getting into it but sarah destiny and Haley, which is the ones that i really love on youtube I, they've all read this and really liked it so i'm gonna give it another shot so i got this is three thrillers and two fantasies so far this is love love this Oh, guys, I just got this book in yesterday, and I'm literally so super, super excited because I love the movie. I hardly ever watch movies before I read the books, but I just happened to not know that this was a book until after I read the movie. 
watch the movie, but My Fault by Mercedes Ron. And I did order the second book. It's not out yet, but I pre-ordered it. So I'm excited to actually read that. 21 is the first mistake. Okay, I've, act I've never read or heard about this book, but I seen it at Ollie's one time. So I picked it up because it looked very interesting, but it's another thriller. And it's the first mistake by Sandy Jones. It says the author of The Other Woman, the Reese Book Club. So if you've read The Other Woman, this is another book by that same girl. Two. Okay, this is our first romance of the month. And it is Terms and Conditions. I read the first one. I really liked the first one. It's interesting to actually get into back into a story that I read months ago. And I just haven't wanted to finish it. So this is Declan's story, which is the first guy, for some reason, I cannot. Rowan, it's his brother. Okay. 21, I already got that one. Got that one. Okay. I don't know what this book is, if it's a romance. I really don't know the genre of this book. That's sad I guess but it's the fourth wings by wind the fourth wind by the four winds by Kristen Hannah I don't know I'm really confused at what genre this is because it says 1929 so it's back in the great world great world great war it says the great war is over so what genre would this be I've never read a genre of I've never read a book where it's set in, like, the olden times, so that's going to be interesting to read. The olden times, guys. Hang on, let me count. I'm getting... This should be the last one, maybe. The 30, book 30 is The Damned. I really don't know if I'm going to enjoy this or if I'm even going to read this this month because the first one was a three star for me and I haven't felt the need to pick this up so yeah I don't know before she we're gonna do 15 just to maybe, maybe 20 I don't know before she knew him it by Peter Swanson I don't know what it's about but it's gonna be interesting to read I'm always in, intrigued to read the books that like I've had on my TBR for literally so long, but just not picked up. And it's just because either something else came out and that I'm really, really interesting in reading first. And it just continues to be like that all the time. My dog is messing with this grade. <laughs> trying to get the next book out, but it's like stuck behind all this stuff. Guys, when I'm saying I'm struggling, I'm literally struggling. Okay. The King of Rye by Anna Han. Han. The King of Rye by Anna Han. Or Hong. Or what? It's the King of Sins book one. Striker. Out. Thank you. I pre-ordered the, the third book, but I don't have the second one. So that, if I like this, I'll probably go ahead and get the second book before the third book comes out. But yeah. Twenty six is the study of Char Charlotte. Um, I've had this on my TBR for years, like years. So hopefully, I can actually finish read this. This next one, guys, I'm literally so excited that I got that. I got this. Cray by Tracy Wolf literally so excited to read this book my favorite thing about this book is the size of them like the depth pages or whatever um buddy i'm gonna need you not to touch that thank you so yeah excited one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen one more 
Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I already had that one. Okay, the last but not least of the number generator is the Violent Delights. So, I don't, I think this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling is what I think it's about. And this is also 1926. So, this month I will be reading two books, possibly, if that in previous later times of the year. Or, yeah. And then I'm going to pick some books that I personally wish was either on this, like, I got that I, that's on here that I didn't get, or just books that I wanted to physically read this month. So, we're going to go with Five Survive by Holly Jackson. Um, I was actually planning on reading this if you don't see my bookmark already there, but I just haven't, it's still literally on page one because I haven't got into it yet, but I'm going to put this on there and then I gotta move some stuff around to get to the next few books, the next book I was on. So we're going to start this series, the Sweet Magnolia series. I did have, I have watched the shows but I haven't read the books so we're gonna read this and I don't like the fact that it is a smaller copy and the people on the covers the, tele the television show copy but that's all they had when I went to get it and I liked it honestly at first when I first got it and then now I'm just like I like the normal copies better and I do wish like the book was like actual book size but it's okay it's not a biggie um is there any other book that i wish i would have gotten i don't think so okay i don't think there's any other books that i wish i would have gotten or would have chosen but i am going to tell you i will probably read this book um pumpkin head because i read it literally every fall but I may read it closer to Halloween, so I may read this in October instead of August or October, September. I'm not sure. Because this is kind of like a Halloween book. It says they say goodbye every Halloween and they reunite, reunite every September 1st. So, it starts on September 1st. So, I don't know. I may read it soon because literally miss this book i haven't read it in such a few in a few years i got it when it first came out so when did it first came out and when it first came out that's when i read it and i don't think i've read it since then i was tell my i told myself after that i was gonna read it every halloween and i didn't pick it up again so i didn't read it every halloween again and it, it came out in 2019 so i haven't read this book since 2019 so I haven't read this book since 2019 and I really want to pick it up. So I'll probably either read that sometime this month or in October. We don't know yet. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will go through these real fast and show you the ones that the generator picked for me and that the two that I picked for myself. I'll start with the two that I picked for myself, which is Stealing Home, the first book in the Sweet Magnolia series. And Five Survive, so by Holly Jackson. And then the generator picked out these Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I know there's a second, that's a duology, so if I like that one, I might pick up the second one. And then Crave by Tracy Wolf is another one. A Study of Charlotte. The King of Wrath. Before she knew him, the damned. I don't really know how to say this name, so I'm not even gonna try to say her name. I know it's Renee. The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. Terms and Conditions by or Lauren Asher. I almost picked this up and said Declan and Iris because that's the name. The First Mistake by Sandy Jones. My Fault by Mercedes Rod. I'm also cleaning up in the process of me cleaning this part. 
Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewel. The Silent Patient by Alex. Like I said, I'm not going to try to even pronounce his name. Run Rose Run by Dolly Parton and Jane Patterson. Care of All by Stephanie Carver. And then Clockwork Angel. Now, like I said, if this isn't the one that you start with, I will be reading um, City of Bones. But I think this is the one that they said to start with. There's this girl I follow on TikTok that goes into depth about which ones in that series you should go with first. So, I'm going to have to watch that before I try to read that book. Because I don't want to get to unpuzzled. Get confused. She said, I do remember her saying that she even read it in the publication order. But, it doesn't go chronological with the actual storyline. So, they were like, she said you could get a little confused, but you may not. Oh, and I also want to, I'm going to put this in this thing too. Um, too Late by Colleen Hoover. I'm going to try to read this this month as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if there's any videos that you guys, gosh, I just made that worse. I'll have to redo my hair, but let me know if there's any videos that you guys would like to see. And yeah, comment down below. Love you. Bye.